Hello my darlings, happy Wednesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part three of Perrin Street. We are continuing on with the back area today. Now I have done a little bit off of camera, kind of got the shape down and all of the bits and bobs that I want for the actual back exterior. What we're going to concentrate on today is putting some more details in together but also the park area out the back that I wanted to show you. Um, that's what we're going to do today. That is exactly what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's get into game and start building. So here we are, my darlings, back at Perrin Street. This is the back that I've told you about that I've kind of got pre-planned. Um, and I'll go through it in just a second. Um, didn't chuck in any details into the front area. We are going to put in a little flower stall. I thought that would be really cute to add around here somewhere. Um, which would mean we'll probably have to shorten up the sh the size of the kind of vet clinic garden. But one of you guys had a really good idea about putting a flower stall out here as well. And I just thought that was perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Now, thoughts. Here we go. So behind the back of the co-op. Behind the back of the co-op, they've got their own little, like, this is probably where the, the staff come out and have a few cigarettes by the bins. Um, it's also got stairs going up into here. And I think this is where Callum is going to have his podcast studio. Above the co-op, um, I think that is going to be the perfect place. Perfect place for him. The beer garden out the back of the pub here, all sheltered. Now, I did trial it with, like, a shorter fence, so it kind of, like, overlooked the park. But it just looked a bit naff with the fences. It just looked a bit strange. So I didn't do that in the end. I've completely left that free. But it's all covered. We're going to have a few little like picnic tables out there. Uh, I think that would be very nice. I had to use these pieces here um, on the foundation. Just so it was at the same height as the park fence. And then what I did is just put them down with a tool mod. Um, yes, yes I did. Back of the bakery. Haven't really chosen any doors or anything yet. Main reasons being... I don't know what the layout of it's going to be in here yet. So I don't want to put doors on until I've kind of figured out a layout for the um, the back of the bakery. This is also going to be, this is going to be a flat above it here. We're going to have a flat in this section here, which is above the bakery. Imagine that, smelling fresh bread every day. I'll be for it. I really would. And then there's another entrance coming up this way uh, with another flat, which is going to be above the vet clinic. Um, I'd be absolutely for that as well. So that's what we're going to do today, darlings. Hello. I know this is all pre-recorded, but how has your week been? Don't worry. I'm back this Tuesday. I come back this Tuesday for you guys. You have not been forgotten. You have been missed. But I won't lie to you. I'm probably having a lovely time. Um, <laughs> probably having a lovely time on me Holly Bobs. If I say Holly Bobs one more time, I'm going to slap myself in the face. I hate people who say that. My manager used to say that in the salon I worked in. Um, and it used to, you know, when something instantly makes you angry. <laughs> and it was that. It made me instantly angry. Yeah, that's cute. I'm just, I like the colour of it. I'm just wondering what other colours this comes in. Oh, it comes in a pink and just, oh, actually, I might even just go for the, yeah. We'll just go for the more neutral tone with that. So we've got a lovely little flower store out the front here as well. That'd be cute. I hope staff can come to this. I'm unsure how it works, but hopefully that does happen. If not, ruined. Gameplay ruined. So, as I said, we're concentrating on the back of this today. This is going to be a big, well, not a big, but a very long park. Why has that done that there? Why are you a boob? Hmm? Why? What about if I went in again and... Oh, 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 two of them now. Okay. Well, we're just going to let the Sims be Sims. Um, and we're going to concentrate on just getting some more exterior details on, out on these parts here. So that is the mantra for today, my loves. Let's get cracking. As I said, how are you? I hope you've had a lovely, lovely week. I really, really do. Um, if you want to follow my adventures in Greece, then go and check me Instagram out, darling. Go and check me Instagram out. It's always linked down below. We'll do a couple of bins on the entrance, but I definitely think this needs some lighting in the park, especially around here too. I might even stick one like around on this part here. I might put a light there so that kind of lights the way. And then maybe one here as well. Is that, are they equal? They are. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will do actually. And we'll probably use more of these in the park, but I think what I want to do is get everything mapped down before I put lighting in. 
Now, it's not going to be the most exciting of parks. Picnic benches, maybe a little, like, picnic spot somewhere. Like, loads of trees. I just want lots and lots of trees so it kind of blends in with what's around it at the back here. So that is what we're going to do. So, first things first. Let's try and map out a cheeky little bit of um, terrain paints first. So, I think we're going to use this grey gravel. And I'm going to gravel the whole of this area here. Because I'm going to put in some... Uh, like children's playground for um not furniture just bits you know you know where i'm going with that um so gravel kids falling over on gravel hilarious absolutely hilarious i'm joking i'm joking i'm not joking i'm not joking at all but don't tell anyone <laughs> i am joking for goodness sake it's nothing funny about seeing a child fall over is there not on gravel that's a bit mean but <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm evil evil i am so let's do that first let's get let's get some um kiddie uh playground pieces in we're gonna go for a swing set and a climbing frame now i've fought against it i'm not that mean so what i'm gonna do is put in some safety features into this park and it's that tar did People of a certain, well, not of a certain age, but I always remember the parks that I used to hang about in when I was younger always had that rubber flooring that used to get absolutely baking hot in the summer and used to burn your bloody feet on it. So I think I'm going to use these two in here. I might even overlap them just so it doesn't take up too much room. And then there's, yeah, 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 that would be fine. Oh, yes, yes. Bench here. Feeling a bench there. We use the same benches that we've been using everywhere. Where are, where are you? I can see you. The mums and dads um, or grandparents or whoever, guardians, can watch their kids then while they're, while they're playing. And we'll put another bin over this side here as well. I might even put in a fence here. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep it open. I'm going to keep it open, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep the gravel the same. Now that I've done this... I am gonna oh I am going to put in a light over this side as well uh I'll see what does it look like if I join it in with the fence not fantastic not fantastic at all so I'll flop one of the lights there and I might even do one I'll move that bin actually that bin's very close to that other one isn't it I'll get rid of that one and I'm gonna flop another one here as well like so oh yes I'm for it absolutely for that yeah cute and it just popped into my head i was like phone box we need a phone box near the park so you can um fake call the sex line does anybody remember doing that i still remember the number 0800 28 29 30 and we used to ask some funny questions and then the court the person on the other end would get absolutely pissed off of us because we were obviously kids asking naughty questions <laughs> and then i put in a little post box here as well it is a little bit low but I just thought that looked quite nice there. Oh, I'm for that very much. And I bought out a couple of planters as well, just to kind of frame in the entrance. There is another entrance over here as well, so you can get in that way too. Stunning. So I'm going to carry on with this gravel now. Let's get rid of high school years. Um, And I'm just going to do maybe a little bit of a windy path. Maybe starting from there. Just a slight little wind back down to there and then what i'm gonna do is just bring it over and curve it around to that side oh stunning yes lot you to there my darling like so and i might i might carry on with what i was doing and put this around the edge of the park yeah just so it looks like that fence it's got something a bit sturdier kind of go into we'll forget about that bit because there's a hedge there yeah i think that will work nicely very nicely and as i said it's not going to be the most exciting of parks but what i think it needs is some benches along the path and loads of trees everywhere so let me pull out a variety of trees that we can see in this world uh, and then we'll stop plonking them around together but here we go i've got a good palette of all of the trees that i can see around on this area we're going to start flopping it in now it is autumn in my game um so i'm going to make that apparent with this park as well 
Um, I'm going to use only that tree there because it's, it's quite a big tree there and I have sized it down already as well. Um, so, you know, we're just going to have to make do. Right, we're going to flop you to there. Let's bring in a few of these. Let's bring you to around about there. We're going to put some bushes in as well. Um, I'm going to... Can I size one down? Would that look weird? Oh, that looks okay. We'll flop another one on the side here. And did I have not have another one? Oh, no, I had a bush. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to use the bushes as well, but that is definitely too big. I'm going to whiffle you down a little bit more here, my love. I do need a space for picnic, so I'm thinking about having this area here with some picnic tables. I think that would be kind of perfect. I'm going to flop you into there. Yes. I promise this will all come to life once we're done. Um. Yeah, can we get some brighter lights for the minute? There we go. Right, you to there as well. Oh, gorgeous. We do need a few more trees. So I'm thinking about adding another one of these here. And let's see if we can. In fact, I'm going to move you two down if you don't mind. And I'm going to see if I can pop in another one of these. Again, sizing it down. I might even size it down twice, actually. And just bring another one of those trees in there. Oh, that's very crowded, but I will rectify by putting that there you're not cutting into anything are you eh, only slightly only slightly yeah that'll do i'm gonna whiffle you in a little bit tighter there my love oh oh beautiful yes lovely and i think we should get some pile of leaves and stuff out as well in here i think that would be really cute okay that's done let's get a couple of picnic benches i just think it would look really cute really cute and i've got the picnic bench in my head the one that looks a little bit um, ruined by people. Yeah, that one. We'll put a couple of these here. I don't think I'm going to do a barbecue. I'm not going to do a barbecue in this park. Because um, it's just not a thing you would see in the UK, really. You bring your own barbecue. I hate people who barbecue on grassy bits and leave those like scorch marks. Can't bear that. Can't bear that. So, so please don't do that, guys. It ruins it for everyone else. <laughs> okay mama bumpkin says now i'm going to terrain paint around the path first i think maybe using you let's go for this one let's bring you down a tad and let's just terrain paint on the edges of the pathway all the way following that little line that we've done I mean, that's probably a bit excessive, isn't it? Yeah, that's excessive, that, Aiden. Hmm. Uh, let's get it right down then and just do a very subtle little line around it. And then what I'm going to do is terrain paint underneath the trees and the picnic benches and whatnot. Again, just adding in that extra detail, love, that brings builds to life, you know? I'm for it. You around here as well. You over here, my love. Let's see where we're going because I cannot see. Oh, am I going to get this line right? Oh, 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 not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, stunning. And then around here too. Beautiful. And we'll go for a bit more of a darker earth where the trees and everything are. And then I'm going to use that grassy texture that I use just to kind of blend it in a little bit more so let's do some tippy tappies <laughs> around where all of this is I might do some flowers I might not I don't think I will actually no I'm just going to keep it I'm going to keep it just green green with trees and hedges that is what I'm going to do right stop disappearing because I can't see you where you are there we are and then you as well you can probably hear my mouse going nuts that's just me doing me tippy tapping, darling. Yes, it is. Right, and then you up here. Beautiful. And then on this side here as well. Stunning. I'm going to bring you right into there. I'm going to turn that down. And we're going to go right across on that bit there as well. Okay, so I need that grassy. I hate, I always say it, but I hate this texture. In I like it. There's just nothing help that blends it, you know? It just looks a bit too cartoony for me, and I'm not for it. 
let's do this. A lot of foot traffic here. I'm probably just going to do this all over the green, to be honest, um, just to help blend it in a little bit more with what we've done around it. Around there as well, my love. Bit there. Oh, I'm missing stuff around here as well. Let's get you right in the middle there. Oh, beautiful. And then don't forget, we need to put some street lamps through this park as well. But I might even change out the street lamps in this park. There's one, there's a street lamp in my head that I think will just go a little bit better than the ones with the baskets hanging from them. So I'm going to give it a go. Let's have a look. Lighting, outdoor lighting. Here we are. Let's get rid of debug and also live edit. The ones with just the two globes, this one. Yes, this would be a lot better. So I'm going to pop on there. Um, I'm going to get rid of you and I'm going to get rid of, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep that one the same, actually. I'm going to keep that one the same. So we need an entrance light. I'm wondering if I can put these in there. Oh, I can't, that kind of looks okay. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put two there like that. Oh, stunning. Right, we've got one there. You're a bit too far out, darling. Plop you into there. I'm going to pop one here. We're going to pop one maybe here. Does that look a bit weird? That's going to look a bit weird. We will pop one there. We're going to pop another one there. All this popping today. We are popping off loves. Uh, and I think we'll do what we did with those other two and flop two on these bits here. Does that look okay? It looks fine. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Now, I just want a little bit of detail around the, the foot of the trees. So I might just go ahead oh, and put in some of that longer natural grass. Let me get it. There we go. Popped it in. This is from Get Together, if you're wondering. My favorite piece of landscaping. Um, I love it because it comes in all different colors as well. Oh, I do love it. Um, perfect. I think that just kind of naturalizes it, you know, makes it look a little bit more natural. Let's go for a little stroll through the park together. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, I'm for this. And into the little kitty section as well. Oh, oh, I'm here for that. Yes, very much here for that. I think, again, look, it just kind of blends it into the world a little bit better. I'm glad we did that. Glad we did that. Yes, I am. So now I want to just add in some final little details onto the back of these houses. So I think the first things first, he would probably have his own sign up here for his podcast studio, wouldn't he? He really would. And the, the sign that I'm going to go for, I think, is going to be the one from Get Together. Let's have a little look. Is it this one here? And it's got the, yeah, this one. It would be him. It, it would be. As much as that annoys me to say. I think it would be. I think that door needs some kind of awning as well. So I'm going to do that too. I'm going to put a little awning. Let's get rid of debug and live edit for now. Um, and also get together. Thank you. And maybe go for that domed, this one. It does come in that brown, doesn't it? Let's see how that would look. That's not too bad, but I think we could go even smaller with it. Just a tiny little awning on top. Yeah. I think I'm going to add that in. Mm, no, I don't know, actually. I've just thought, what about Snowy Escape one? That's better. We'll add this one in instead. So I'm going to flop you to there. And you are going to go here, along with a light for the wall as well. And the light that I've got in my head is the one that looks a bit like a doorbell. This one. Um, but it comes in some weird colours, doesn't it? That will do. We can add that one on. Oh, I'm four. Absolutely four of that really am and here i'm going to add in a security light to the back here let's do that one in a black though stunning lovely okay i mean this is a big area here i don't think i could put anything else there though no not really it doesn't really fit the vibe in fact i know what i could put there some bins some bins from the podcast studio do that and I reckon they're a bit messy as well so I'm going to add in some bin bags and a bit of rubbish down there too 
just to give it that kind of pizzazz. And I reckon they all get pissed off with him um, for his messiness and just general awfulness. <laughs> oh, we're bad. We're very bad. So, pub garden. Um, can't put a window here. Can't put a window there. But what I could put there, maybe, is the ivy. Um, that is not from Eco Lifestyle. But I think it's... I think it's in here, the one that's in my head, the one that's kind of on the trellis. There it is, this one here. We'll go for that other color though, because I prefer it. Do two of them there, maybe one at the top. Just for a bit of greenery out there. Yes, I'm for that. And lighting outside. We'll just go for the ye old faithful um, kind of metal lantern. I think that would work. That looks a little bit too low because of the platform, so I'm going to size you down my darling there we go stunning and then i am going to put in some picnic benches out here too uh we'll go for a bit more of a, a rustic wood vibe out here i think oh the black looks quite nice actually what did i use at the front i used that one oh, we've got an umbrella on we don't need that for here so maybe i'll stick with that then and go for that style instead we'll pop one there can we get two more in I reckon we can, but I might have to just whiffle this back a little bit. Same with you. And then that gives us a nice bit of space out the back then, doesn't it? Yes. With some condiments. Condiment. Condiment basket. We'll flop one of those out as well. There we go. Again, hate the colour of that, but we're going to go for it anyway. Stunning. And you there as well. I think that's all it needs you know it gives us a vibe and i'm for that vibe i really am so over here ah oh, do you know what i think i'm gonna leave that area actually because i don't as i said i don't know what the layout's gonna be yet so i'm not gonna put anything there i have just realized however that the wallpaper has disappeared here so let's get that back on again how very dare it indeed how very dare indeed now we have got a flat up above there, so I'm going to do a couple more bins down here. I think this is the perfect spot for a couple of bins. Tidy bins. And we have got a flat here as well, so maybe I could even fit a bin there. That flat. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm going to leave the kind of little roof garden for the flat until we were actually in that flat kind of decorating it but i think that's going to be it for now my loves i think that's going to be it for now um a bit of a shorter part but you know the point got across let's uh get the lighting on back here to what we've built today oh that looks cute yeah that feels realistic to me um we're done for today thank you so much for watching as i said the next video will be tuesday when i'm finally back from a holiday and what we'll do is we're going to start experimenting with videos a bit more uh, i definitely want to do more challenge videos a scenario video as well so we'll make sure we'll get to them as the weeks progress but we'll come back to this and i think we'll make a start maybe on the bakery i think we'll start on the bakery because then we can also do the flat above the bakery as well um and that'll be a fun little part to come back with won't it Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you all on Tuesday. Goodbye.